This right here is Bagnell Dam, and it kind of helps keep Lake Ozark put together. Yes, that's right. Lake of the Ozark is artificially inseminated. I, I mean, created. The construction of the Bagnell Dam on the Osage River is what formed this spectacular dragon-esque body of water. The Bagnell Dam finished construction in 1931, but was first conceived in 1917 by a Kansas City bloke named Ralph Street. After construction, the river started to fill at an average rate of one and a half feet per day, and it took 78 days for the water to reach the spillway. Man-made lakes are technically referred to as reservoirs, and according to the National Lake Assessment done by the EPA in 2012, there are about 53,119 reservoirs in the United States alone. Although, about 40% of them are smaller than 10 acres. Reservoirs are typically created for drinking water supply, agricultural irrigation, industrial cooling for a water supply, flood control, fisheries, recreation, or navigation. The downside of man-made lakes is that they're more likely to have more zooplankton, total phosphorus, lake shore disturbances, and chlorophyll A risk than natural lakes, and can also kill off animal populations who rely on the rivers that some dams are built on. 